Hi. Uh, welcome back to our scheduled programming. This is Tag 2. I'm not going to take up too much of her time because we are behind schedule, but I want to thank you all for watching. Would my commentators uh, quickly introduce themselves? Oh, by the way, I'm Ritro. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hi, again. I'm you. Oh, it's me again. Yeah, I run this game. I held record in this category. Uh, Ritro beat me again. But, yeah, I play this game a lot. And you? I'm Kovac. Uh, I play this game. I don't play the DLCs. I only play them casually once, so I'm very interested in seeing the speed run. Hi, yeah, my name is Meta. Um, I have run this DLC. I did 100% back when it launched. Mm -hmm. My time is an hour. Um, <laughs> and I have not seen the route uh, since, so I'm really excited to see so what yeah, kind of stuff back when found. you Back when you ran, there was a little optimizations, but now we've gotten it down to world records just under 25 minutes. Oh my god. <laughs> Most likely we're going to be here for around 30 because Marathon Showcase, but uh, without further ado, how about we just get into it? Let's, let's do, do it. it. Let's All right. Let's go. Good luck, good luck. Hold on one second. I'm just going to wait for tech to replace a light real quick. Oh, got to make sure we, we see gotta make sure we got to light pretty. up that pretty yeah, face. Yeah, light up that pretty face. <laughs> oh, stop. <laughs> Both sides are your best side, right, Aw. <laughs> Whose side are you on, Meta? Um, your the right. right. The right side. The right yeah. side. Right. Okay. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, so the just right <laughs> side is my best side. Okay, yeah. gotcha. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now if my dumb jokes are aside, let's start this. Timer will start as soon as I skip this cutscene. Okay, so starting in three, two, two one, one. Right, go! First things first, as always, equip air control immediately. Love air control. Of course. The other rooms are optimal, though, so that's no fine. Brainer. I'm going to quickly go Oops. over this. Those are not required encounters. I'm going to do a skip called Fountain Skip. Uh, basically, how this fountain fight is triggered is that you have to get a ghost dog. Uh, however, guy. I'm just going to sit in a precise spot, wait for this Hell Knight. Yes, uh, that is good. And if you wait just a oh, second... Hopefully that works. This will work. This will totally work. So yeah, basically the, the Hell Knight Oops. Gib is hitting a... There we go! Nice! So for some reason, the game considers... I think uh, the default way of how we think that skip works is that the game only checks like uh, the type of object and not the object itself. So, and for some reason, like, the giblets of the Hell Knight are the same class of object as the dog. So we were able to just completely skip a small traversal section to unlock that dog. And how long would it normally take to get that dog? Uh, it would, uh, to tell you the truth, this strat actually is very small in, ti in terms of time save. It's two seconds, but we go okay. for it because wait, it's literally wait, wait. at the beginning of the run. Yeah, it is, it okay. is like, n so much work for so little gain. <laughs> Okay. But it's you very would, cool. You would think, I mean, you would think it would be a lot more time saved because you're overlapping two arena fights. Mm -hmm. But you've gotten so good at the there. combat that it just doesn't yeah. really matter. <laughs> Timing comparison is like, yeah, it's still worth it. Oh, and by the way, the I set up a fast yeah. D-Blade. Oh, nice. Tentacle nice. dead. That was fast. The Armored right. Baron's dead. Now that we're going to do a cool little skip here where I'm just going to oh, look wow. backwards by this monkey bar. Uh, oh, 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 what? Uh, that that yeah, that sometimes uh, just happens. There, we, there go. we go. And normally there's an invisible wall there, but if you look backwards, for some reason you grab onto that monkey bar. Yeah. All I right, do not recommend trying that in real life. <laughs> <laughs> you don't? Why wouldn't you? I don't think that many people have access to monkey bit. bars. A little bit. Okay. Oh, oopsies. I missed that just barely. I will take the blame for that. So... I'm just going to kill this Baron real quick. Okay, I lied. I like you? Armored Barons Chainsaw? when you're nice. good at the game. <laughs> I like Armored Barons a lot, too. I love how, you know, if you optimize your DPS, you can literally just kill them. Oh, this is the encounter with uh, literally 30 imps. Uh, so basically what we're going to do is just stand in a centralized somewhat edge of the arena so that we have as much cone of vision on killing imps as possible. Uh, Sticky Bombs, Precision Bolt are your best friends this here. This is basically barge, but double. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, there's so much well. RNG that it kind of evens out to being consistent a little <laughs> bit. Kind of like it's a weird how that happens. Like so literally everything is so random. So because I did that monkey yeah. bar skip, actually that was the trigger to despawn uh, those invisible walls that I hit. That's why I kind of grabbed that monkey bar early. So now we get into these imps. Uh, there should be about seven imps. Four, five, six, seven. Oh, must have accidentally counted wrong. Uh, two whippies spawn in, and then it's just uh, imp clear up. Are you? We are good. All right, now we're going to do my, one of my favorite punch boosts in the run. Uh, so first things first, uh, you can nice. actually short circuit this arena and get over here. And here's a meat hook node. You can actually punch boost off them. Uh, OK, that's fine. By the I'll, way. Ju I'll just, I'll just uh, back up, oh. and I'll try it again uh, from the same area, just to give you the full experience. So one, two. 
Oh, nice. Ooh, there we go. Oh. Okay, a little short, but we were able to save it by hooking onto that node last second. <laughs> Love hook nodes. All right, nice. now I did short circuit that fight, so specifically while that dog is walking to the fountain, Walk I can first. just uh, do this encounter. So Walk we're overlapping first. time. We would be waiting by doing this encounter. Oh, you don't do that Dread Knight? Uh, no, the Dread Knight is not required. Wow, okay. All right, so now we're moving into the fountain fight. Now, why am I standing outside the fountain? It's because actually you gain more survivability from your mo from more survivability from your mobility than purple goo does from so that sure. gain more Being survival from mobility yeah. rather than taking damage so, so yeah, basically yeah, if you, you haven't know. played this casually when you're outside of the circle you're taking damage but when you're inside the circle you have to you basically can't move inside of the purple goo yeah but, but it's yeah. like six in a, it's six damage per tick and yeah. it's nothing yeah. okay we, we take that <laughs> Quad damage very quickly here, and fun fact, uh, if you remember from the Tag 1 run, uh, enemies die the first time they chainsaw, so I'm going to do that, oh, trigger cutscene, free chainsaw, and if I get this movement properly, nice. <laughs> okay. Alright, we just unlocked the Sentinel Hammer. Mute, do you want to go into specifics of how the Sentinel Hammer works? Oh yeah, so if you hammer a demon, that demon gets stunned and dazed for a very long time, and you also get a little bit of ammo out of it. So the strat is to get as many demons as possible yes. at the same <laughs> place, and then you just hammer them to get a lot of ammo, or you use that in a speedrun context to set up and to stun that demon to kill it faster. Yeah, and you get hammer charges by basically uh, doing glory kills or destroying weak points. So I specifically routed killing weak points there, so make sure I have hammer for this phase because we run low on ammo. So double D-blade to both those tyrants. Uh, there should be... a. A bear, uh, Hell Knight over there, and now I'm just going to alpha rotation until this guy's dead because I just stunned him with the hammer. And now it's just fodder clear up. That is a very hard encounter made quite simple thanks to the hammer tech. Yeah, love great job. I love the hammer awesome. in the speed run, I will say. It's my favorite part. Routing this category was so fun because you can just like, I need ammo here. Where do I chainsaw? But then you're like, no, I don't need the chainsaw. I can hammer instead. Is there any weak points around? And you just get into the spiral of you look for, is it optimal to chainsaw? Oh, yeah. Is it optimal to hammer? Is it optimal blah, 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 50 million times? Oh, by the way, stone imps, they die to they just die an energy shield bash. And hammer. Uh, this was fixed after this patch, which is one of the main reasons why we run on 5.1 to so much faster. get the insta kill. Because normally it take like, what, two or three full auto shells? We, we try to do anything except to use full auto on the stone imps. <laughs> Which is yes. their intent, yeah. <laughs> uh, Destroyer Blade actually kills them Ooh. pretty quickly, too. Okay, we're going to do Forest Fight. This is actually like a pretty technical encounter. So first things first, we need to kill these three specters after those revenant. Oh, he just freaking dr Tokyo drifted yep. around there. So stone imp, uh, one specter. I know there's going to be a stone imp right here, told you. <laughs> and then we need to kill the Dread Knights because they are the Trigger Demons to progress this encounter. Uh, did we explain Trigger Demons? Can anyone do a quick TLDR on what a Trigger Demon is? The, the short and simple of a Trigger Demon is that there are only certain demons, not all of them, that are required to pro make progression in the fight. Right? Pretty much. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Okay, there is a Stone Imp here. Oh, none of them died to that hammer. Okay, we're going to see some sexy movement here. See if I can get it. Oh, yeah. Hey! Oh, I can't uh, believe you skipped the five Marauder fight. Uh, uh, almost okay, the it's hop. Almost. I almost oh, got the okay. hop. I landed you just too it, shortly on the on the ledge, so I didn't get it. Unfortunate. It's fine. It's all good. It's still, as we put it, if you get that, I'm not joking, it's literal seconds of save, and you just kind of go straight to this area. Indeed. That is, again, that's bonkers. That's Actually, only you know seconds. what? Marathon safety. Gonna, All right. Just going to do this just in case. I respect it. Yeah. Respect it. There is also uh, a soft lock you can get to later in the run if you die, and I'm going to try to avoid that, so I am just going to pick that up for safety so I don't die in that encounter. It is a very low chance, but, you know, why take a chance when you can make it a certainty? That's, uh, I feel like that's... <laughs> That quote should be on a t-shirt. <laughs> Sheesh, I didn't true. expect that to be that was, so philosophical. That was deep, honestly, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Nice. Right. It is faster. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to do a very technical. This is actually my favorite encounter in the run. Um, so I'm going to set up a fast destroyer blade on this uh, Cybermank. And then I'm going to punch boost, ballista boost, get over here. One, get a glory kill to charge nice. the hammer. Uh, fast D blade. Uh, didn't get it. Oh. Unfortunate. It's fine. Oh, that's okay. Um, okay. Whiplashes do not. Oh, like, oh, come on. Wrong Boy. demon. <laughs> okay, wrong luckily, guy. at this part of the encounter, we're, I'm actually on a timer waiting for some enemies to show up, like these Hell Knights, so that didn't lose any time. 
Okay, and now after is my favorite part of the encounter. There will be three pinkies we have to spawn, because that will spawn in the final phase of the encounter, which is a Baron and some other junk. I don't memorize it, because you're going to see exactly why. So, uh, one Baron. I'm going to slob him to get him into a low health low state. Health and BFG to kill nearly everything, and, and nice. bam! Gorgeous. Take the portal straight to the Gorness so we can immediately start the escalation encounter. Mm -hmm. While the BFG that is, is still nice. flying. That's yes. it. Yes. All right, N but it don't stop because this is the hardest encounter. That was Welcome my favorite. Now we're in the hardest. Welcome to the DLCs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, don't stop. A lot of ammo. Okay. Oh. Yeah, oh, I use that hammer specifically for ammo. There's just plenty of fodder and also the pain elementals. It's so good to stun them there. I think I wanna, casually, oh. I never realized that the hammer hits things behind you too. Oh yeah. Oh uh, yeah. So thank very. You. Oh, thank you. oh, I got oh, you loot got loot blocked. Blocks. Yeah. Oh nice. That's fine. Uh, I don't have a hammer because of that, so hold on. I actually have the chainsaw here. Uh, unfortunate, but that's just how routing goes. All because I got loot block there, so I had to waste another D-blade. Another double D-blade to kill these three max here. Uh, I oh, actually wow. have... That's some yeah, new that's, routing. Yeah. So when something like that happens, like how does that impact the rest of the fight? Is it like no big deal, or does it change uh, the rest of the f entire fight? Oh, uh, that's... Okay. Unfortunate. Don't let him summon. Yeah. There we go. I'm just going to Ice Bomb just to make sure, and I'm going to Chainsaw while this other Arch file spawning just to make sure. Uh, basically, meta, it's like, it's like how do I put it? You were on my 2016 run. It's like that, but on a much smaller scale. You just basically be like, where do I need to go to get s close enough to my ammo yeah, for sure. routing? And that's basically as far as it goes. Double D-Blade here. Make sure the two hirons get hit. Very nice. Okay. Okay. Um, I am out of rockets. That is unfortunate. Unfortunately, I was just low on ammo charge because I didn't get those quarry kills I had routed in. But I got a hammer. Boom. Boom. Stop. So much ammo. Thank you to whoever designed oh, man. the sound, the animation, the I look of that it. hammer. So oh, crunchy. my God. <laughs> crunchy and juicy. The hammer is, I think, ew, it's such a good it's super so weapon. Good. Uh, mm, you don't hammer here? No, I do not hammer here because... Uh, I like this chainsaw. All right. Even if it wasn't so damn useful, I would still be using it because, yeah. <laughs> mm. well, it's fun. You know. The only thing that's a little weird is that it has like uh, no iframes, which kind of feels if you're locked in, like yeah, you kind of get yourself into a situation yeah. if you use it unoptimally. So there is a steep learning curve because you get punished hard. Learning curve means high skill ceiling, and you know what? I'm I'm okay with okay. that. Okay. Oh, oh oops, I sorry. accidentally fat fingered a uh, weapon swap. Don't mind me. It's fine. We still just double D blade those cybers. Uh, moving nice on guys. this. There we go. All right. Now we're going to get into another case of the fun zones. Uh, fun zone. Uh, not for the marauders. Not for the marauders, for the blood makers. Basically, if you're trapped in a corner or the blood maker thinks you're trapped in a corner, it'll try to attack you instantly. Like there. Like I was in the corner, like in between those vines there. Oh. Now I'm in this corner. Does any corner work? Uh, most swap in between corners. Yeah. I never realized, better. like, why. I just kind of stood there. And yeah, we still don't <laughs> know exactly why. We think it's just a quirk with how their AI is programmed. Oh, this, oh. uh... Oh, that's... Is that bad? That looks uh, bad. Not, not terrible. He, it's not terrible. We just have to sticky okay. bum him. Oh. oh, yeah, that, that AOE from the Bloodmaker sticking around. Where the frick are you, dude? There Prowlers teleport. Okay, I'm going to do a tech here called Energy Shield Vacation, basically by punching out my Energy Shield. I'm going... Wait. I'm going to charge up a D-Blade. I actually can't double D-Blade because of that last encounter just being a little meme-y. Yep. That's fine. We're playing Dark Ages early. The shield and the gun. <laughs> <laughs> that is such a funny way to uh, put it. I didn't realize that before. You make a very good point. Okay. Uh, I am just so low on... Okay, accidental glory kill. It happens. I am going to get a chainsaw here because of messing up that blood maker I'm low on ammo so I just need this to boost for the next movement section and we are basically done with this level all we have is this parkour section and uh, now normally there is a cool pause boost we would do here but it turns out it's actually slow so unfortunate it's also hard it is very hard and for four seconds of time safe so instead we found this punch boost thanks this Cal. really nice so we're Thank just gonna go. go here boom hold oh. forward and punch boom. and oh my all goodness, the we way skipped up all, all the way parkours. Nice. And you're done. And just like that, we are done with World Spear, and we are moving on to Reclaim Dark. Ah, one of my faves. Now, that is the longest level in this run. The next few levels are short and sweet, but that doesn't mean the combat slows down. Um, the combat actually gets way harder, um, So, on average. So we're actually going to do a spot here called a Telefrag, or a Spawn Block. I'm going to try to spawn in this Armored Baron, mm -hmm. sit in the spot where it would spawn, and it didn't. Oh. Nothing, nothing happens. 
That's how you know it, it works. It works. So there would normally oh, be an armor so baron here. Beautiful. That's so fast. Shout out to Bowser who found that. It was it it was so great. So now we're on to one of the m biggest improv encounters of the run. So what I'm I'm going to do here is basically there's going to be a bunch of oh curse prowlers. Mm, okay. Oh, got him. Didn't you take that. And then I'm going to swap to micro missiles here so I can double D blade this. Very nice. And get this. Oh. Um, yeah. And then nice hammer game. until it's done. That's basically what it is so here. Much ammo on and the then ground. because I swapped all my mods before this Boom. encounter, I'm just going to guess what. <laughs> double D blade. Three again. double D blades in a row, Ooh. and this encounter is basically dead. Um, only only thing left is this mancubus, I think. Maybe a fodder demon or two. A uh, soldier. That's close enough. So are many we, double D are blades. we good? So okay. Nice. Oh, Can I do some sexy movement here? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Nice. nice. Good job. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, does a lock thing? on kill stone him? Let's find out. No. No. no but no. it was close enough. Okay. Unfortunately. Okay, I'm going to go do a cutscene overlap here. Uh, uh, got it. it. Oh, no. Oh, my God. That so was so close. This screen <laughs> flashing here is not intentional. It is due to me playing two cutscenes at once because you can just barely do that. All right, moving on to this. We got introduced to riot soldiers. They're like shield soldiers, but you can't destroy their shield. So you have to fire like a rocket or sticky bomb around their feet or just flank them. Yeah, triggering a ground pound will oftentimes right. make a major... Shout out to Bowser. Oh, uh, nope. oh, oh wait. Try it again. Try, we'll it, try again. it again. We tried it. We tried it again. There we go. Oh, Ooh. there we go. Oh, my Perfect. gosh. <laughs> this is why this is my favorite run. Uh, it has so many assists like that, but it doesn't stop because we go straight into combat. Oh, great. Ar Optimal RNG marathon luck. Holy crap. So this trigger demon is two Mancubus and that Dread Knight. And that Dread Knight spawn is completely RNG, and it spawned in the perfect spot because I was about to destroy yeah. that. Anyway, anyway, BFG, another Telefrag on a Marauder. Believe me, there's a Marauder here, and if all goes right, nothing happens. What? No, there's not. Nothing happens. I didn't see anything. <laughs> there's no Marauders there. And that is the, one of the fastest <laughs> encounters in this game so just fast. because uh, we get that spawn block on the Marauder, which is so huge. But don't stop. Second Escalation encounter. Uh, one Arachnotron, these pinkies. Uh, there is going to be this Arach... We are basically on a timer waiting for the second wave to spawn, so I'm just going to wait till I see some red. BFG. There's going to be a Curse Prowler that spawns here. This is perfectly consistent. Screw this guy in particular. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to get this and a Chainsaw because it's free, because we are on a timer as far as this game's concerned. All right, and then there's a... Um, now it's fast. Okay, now there is a spirit. We got to keep in that in mind. I'm basically chasing the blue. Uh, chasing the blue. There we go. Okay, there should be you. All right. What are you? Okay. All right. I'll hammer this guy. Oh frick. Um, we. Oh. Uh -oh. You can do it. You can do yep. it. Yep. Oh. Uh, oh. he got possessed. I think after the second round. It's fine. Save Still done. Yeah, we'll just uh, we'll just wait. Okay. Ah. Oh, wow, that actually stunned him. Nice. Yep, one pellet hit, that's all you need. All right, and now nice. since this Doom Hunter got possessed, that's just unfortunate. I'm just going... Holy crud, do you see that dude yeah. zip? <laughs> Holy. <laughs> oh, that, my God. He's he, zooming. He is going. He has dash. I wish somebody would slide that fast into my DMs. It's already done. <laughs> already done. I'll follow up with you later. <laughs> there is one gargoyle where... Oops. Oh, wait, no, this is right Soldier. Okay. Uh -huh. I thought I got him. He must have just barely lived, unfortunate. Oh, by the way, oh, fun fact, oh. Riot Soldiers are immune to headshots, so don't shoot them in the head. Oh, I had no idea. They got little helmets on. All righty, we're going to move on to this encounter. This is basically, uh, you just uh, did balls to the wall, you know, on a on a escalation encounter. Here's some reprieve. Get a bunch of hammer charges. When I play this arena for the first time, I thought it was, it was going to be really hard. But no, it was just like, hey, do you want to play That's Bonk it. Simulator? That's it. Yeah, they're just telling you to have fun. Yep. Okay, moving on to this. We are going to try to bunny hop, get through this. These guys are not encountered. They're just trying to slow us down. Uh, diagonal dash in water. Thank you, Pythagoras. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Route 2 faster, by Root the way. Route 2 faster. All right, we only have one blood punch here, which is unoptimal. So I'm going to get a backup glory oh, kill nice. on this Mac and then double plunge punch this pinky. Get this glory kill because um, it's somewhat free. What if we just desperate punch that? That'd be fun. Uh, desperate punch does not kill. I think the scaling works weird with with spirits Aww. and whatnot, so That's it's sad. not really. Yeah. 
Two desperate punches, though, would be oh. great. Edge boost. Oh. Nice. That was oh, easy. Yeah. Oh. Easy. Dude, doing that with the Mancubus looking at you, that's scary. <laughs> yeah, you have to do that quick or you start taking damage. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay, I'm fine. No slow, oh. that's fine. Yeah, I just didn't have Ballista to get that quickly. We need to look for a Dread Knight because that is the trigger demon. Where are you, dude? Uh, he's above, right? What's he? Him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. there we are. Mute has better eardrums than me. Okay. okay. <laughs> so now I'm just going to kill the Cybermech while everything else spawns in. Hi, Baron. And then we just hammer and we try to kill things as quick as possible. This is also has a lot of free nice. form near the end there because you got to just read Cyber the weapon. Cyber's alive, yeah. Cyber's alive? Is he? Yeah. What? Yeah, he was blue. Didn't get the left, script. Unfortunately. Hey, <laughs> I didn't know either, I tried to worry. <laughs> All right. Out of here. Wee! Nice. All right. Going to do this. Alrighty, and now we're up. That's pretty and cool. And one hook. Yeah, that is an uh, optimization found by the great P Hose. Thank you, Drake. Thank you, P Hose. The one and only. Alright. I was saving some chainsaw just for you, bud. Thank you. Alright. Now we're actually almost done with the level. Like, you might seem pretty quick, but like casually you die a lot on these encounters. This level's actually pretty long. Just because dealing with them is just how they put it. You're just really fast. Yeah, we are just really fast. Oof. Yeah, that was that, yeah, yeah. Wait, wow. Dangerous where? He's not at this marathon. <laughs> Shout out to the Dangerous uh, Doom 2016 one hundo runner and just overall great dude in the community. Hundo classic runner, too. That's yeah, a lot of real boosts. So Love it. Where um, you lose like 15 minutes in RTA, just uh, <laughs> or even yep. e up to 30 even, uh, depending, and because like you just have to reload checkpoints so much. Speaking of rail boosts and like unrestricted stuff, this level I think is um, under a minute. Yeah, <laughs> unrestricted. It's so fast. Like you just you from you the beginning you yeah. fly all the way here. You spawn, you zip, or I think now you you meat hook right and yeah, like trim. Yeah, you meat hook. You do do on a slope. You get right in. There's yeah. a hole in the ceiling. There's only one hole in the ceiling. You just you fall into that and you just bulldoze. No, there's everything. actually two holes in that ceiling now. There we are? found another. Oh, you did. That one that's slightly faster. Yeah. Oh my god! Seriously? Wow! I didn't know that. Outdated knowledge. I cannot wait for modding tools to see if we find other holes. Honestly. Mm. Yeah, I was wondering. Oh yeah. Because we had no way to view collision now, now we do. Yeah. All right. You so just that's, blew that's my friggin' mind, dude. So <laughs> now we we ended that encounter. That's actually a one of the encounters with a lot of freeform because it is RNG dependent on certain phases, but a lot of it is deterministic too. All right, we're on to Amora, which is the capital Ooh. city of hell for those lore worthy. There we go. All right. Very nice. Finally, so, gonna see some nice mechs in this level. Mm-hmm. Which you'll get to play in the Dark Ages. <gasps> Maybe. Five shadowing. Five sha three shadowing because it's obvious. Yeah, I guess. All right, so I, this sec this level starts off with a sexy movement section. Let's hope I can get it. And um, oh, nice. Okay. Ooh. Oh, oh <laughs> I hit the parallel. Didn't get a. Oh, I got a second frame. Okay, we saved it. Saved it. Clean. Perfect. Look good to me. <laughs> if you do. Ignore that going. So this encounter is very RNG filled. You'll have to play off this a lot. So there's a uh, few revenants here. I think I'm just going to get this. The goal is basically to kill the Dread Knights and the revenants for the first phase, but all their spawns are random. Nice so block. you just have to do what you can. You've seen Retro's tag one run. All of those enemies are basically set in where they are, and they spawn in a specific place. So it's very choreographed. In Tag 2, specifically in, Amor in Amora, they're less so choreographed. Things can spawn anywhere, really. These new runners do spawn there all the time, but a lot of enemies just kind yeah, of Yeah, like I need to now, in order to short circuit this fight, I need to kill both whiplashes at once. At so at there once. they are. Nice. Uh, do oh, I, okay. I do have, OK. Oh, oh two barons. Oh. oh, they spawn at a good location for you. Ooh. And one BFG. Ooh. That's scary. Is that yeah, that was, Ooh. That was and that is that encounter nice. over. Sheesh. Well done. I, Great job. I took a risk really getting tough. that Baron in my face, but yeah, that that was clean. That was so fast. All right. And now we get on to the second part, which if you like RNG, yeah, this... How do I put it? This one's more consistent, but that's just because we BFG out the inconsistency. So I'm going to set up a fast D-blade on this Baron it? as it spawns in. Oopsies. I missed that ice bomb just barely. Unfortunate. That's fine. Um, okay, where is this Baron? There we are. Oh, I I, I messed up the fast deep play. Oh no, that's fine. Oh, everything's fine. Drone We're fine. It's cool. Game is scary. Maker drone bailed me out, so now I just gotta wait a second. Fire a BFG. A Marauder spawns, and ideally the Marauder will die here to that BFG. No, I hear Sounds I hear like the wolf. Uh, hi there, there dude. Is. 
Hopefully I can one cycle it, Keep and it's good. Nice. All right. All right. All right. I'm gonna try to get both these guys in one. Very, very okay. precise Ooh. double D blade too. I think I missed it. Maybe. Uh, yeah, he looks healthy, so that's just unfortunate. But it's fine. We just uh, oh, wow. ice bomb here. We just have to wait for. Uh, I think actually one of those hit. He seemed yeah. a little low. Yeah. Okay, now we just gotta wait for a Marauder to find us because he's RNG. But luckily uh, for him, I have a hammer. Boom. <laughs> and that increases their stun window, which is great. A um, couple more fodders, and this will end soon. One more. Oh. Oh. A drone. Oh, well, hello there. I'm yeah, surprised nice. with how well that went. Sheesh, yeah, that was man. Nice. Yeah, that arena usually takes longer when I watch people playing this. Mm -hmm. I feel like this whole run is going pretty, pretty well, well honest, for you. Honest, honest. Yeah. Yeah. Tag one, yeah. Okay, so this is the next encounter coming up is the reason why I have extra lives. If you die here, like die, die, uh, you get soft lock because we skip all these enemies because they Ooh. are actually not tracked. Okay. So... It is a very short encounter, however, it is like two Mancubuses direct hitting you. See, like that, I got low health. Oh, you precarious. take one Mancubus shot, you die. Oh, the rare instance of a double destroyer, a double Arbalist used in hey, the run. Double Arba. This is the only thing routed in the Ancient Gods DLC. I think you guys just aren't trying hard enough. Uh, <laughs> Quebec does some double Arba stuff, which is very cool. It's okay. so good for movement, man. It is. Oh, double but Arba movement tech is very hard. Didn't you give up on that mute? I, I did I, mean, I did some before, but now it's just like, it, it's too hard. I'll learn it again later, but does it push you further, faster? Or? It's like, it does. It's like it does. doubles your ballista if you boost wall dash, if you do it right. If you wall dash and then double R you can go to like 45 meters per second. Yeah. Oh and if you have a lot of airspeed or a lot yep. of distance to travel, that's so fast. I'll show you in my PB. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we just in get, did those two small, small encounters. Now we are in the capital city. We just sieged it. Now we are chasing the Dark Lord who is the ultimate big bad of this game. Okay. Um, I think I'm good. No, that bonk may have done it. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, oh. We have to get out of there very quickly. Otherwise, we'll get into spawn cap issues. Okay? Okay. He dashed as soon as he spawned. That was unlucky. Fun zone. Okay, that's fine. Green. Ugh, I cannot see. Dog just visual cluttered me. Okay, that's nice. fine. I'm going to throw some grenades at the ground so the Marauder does not push me. Fun fact, you can Hammer do that. Two. Nice. All right. All right, and then there's just this Baron, and there is going to be Screecher. Screechers are enemies of which if they trigger, you buff them. But if you right. just, like, shotgun swap that guy constantly, that was he, quite fast. it doesn't even matter because you just kill him so quick. All right, we're going to do a fun strat here. So I'm going to do an energy shield bash dash. <laughs> bash dash. Bash okay. dash. Okay. I love it. I oh, love that nice. One. Okay, okay, so you're you're charging forward with the shield, like the shield charges you forward, and you like cancel it, or it cancels uh, the basi dash. basically hitting an enemy cancels the dash. Now, normally that like wouldn't be dash. an issue because you hit the enemy, but if you kill it the same time you you bash it, you actually get to keep that speed. Yep. Interesting. Yeah. I want to try that. In All right, this <laughs> is another thing of spawn limit management. I'm going to basically only kill some specific enemies here, so that I have a. So enough basically spawn slots are allotted for the next encounter. Because some stuff despawns, some stuff doesn't. Yeah, I have to kill about five or six enemies here, and it is somewhat random what they are, but... Isn't there a BFG here? Uh, there was. We routed that out. I see. All right, that should be enough. I think that was six. All right, and now we're going to grab this free BFG here because we will put to use nicely in the next encounter. Can I get the ramp up? No. Hit the wall slightly, that's fine. Energy shield bash? No. I wanted to chain it into it for no reason other than just having fun. I feel like doing it from the side of the main cabis is All right. a little easier. Last uh, in big encounter of the run. First things first, check if we get a soft lock. Ah, uh, uh, we got the soft lock. Yeah, there's oh. only one. There's that's... three fodder there. Uh, if there's less than three, they're spawned somewhere else. They will not oh. die, so you have to basically reload mm -hmm. checkpoint. Okay, it is so a, you hit the spawn cap? Yeah. Or, okay. It's not a spawn it's cap not, thing. They just disappear. Uh, it does happen more oh. often if you are at spawn cap, but it, it, I, it's something with how we route it, because you don't get into that issue casually. But if you try to go fast like us, oh, I don't, I don't, I don't. <laughs> Does I didn't have, have any Destroyer Blade. I am embarrassed. It's fine. We just wait a sec. Wait for this guy to open up. Because there is a game thing in this game where if you kill an enemy during an animation, the next enemy of that will spawn in the previous okay. guy's position. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. It's wonky. Is that ever abused, like, on purpose? Or? No, not not for us. It's actually quite detrimental. It, happens, it can happen. Ooh. Okay. That's okay. I'm going to actually take a safety chainsaw here just because of that hit. 
I feel like you could wrap that in somewhere, maybe. Uh, hopefully, uh, I maybe mean, maybe. Not. I wish. I um, wish. Maybe someday. Maybe yeah. someday. When we get bigger brains. Give us a few years. Ooh. Okay, that is fine. I think it's because that tyrant just barely lived that uh, it effed up a little bit of my routing. That's cool, though. We just take this on the chin. Uh, and then there's this Armored Baron, which is the last um, enemy that we need to kill before we just BFG to clear out this encounter. Nice. So have you killed a single spirit? Like the spirit itself? The only spirit we kill in the Ancient Gods is the one we're required to for the Samur boss fight. Mm -hmm. ah. Okay, so I'm going to short circuit this encounter oh. by killing oh. all these. Nice. Double oh. Feeble. Oh. Nice. That was so Wait. cool. <laughs> I love that. Ballista boosting downward. That was that awesome. little extra bit yes. of speed. We are onto the final level and the final boss fight, the Dark Lord. He's a marauder. I can we're gonna smell do, the clown music. We're going to do very specific damage cycles to try to get this guy as dead as fast as possible. In the second and third phase, we can one cycle him with one stun. In the fourth and fifth phase, we can one hammer him to where we still need two windows, but we don't need to stun him. I love so. traffic lights. Yes. Oh, yeah. It's my favorite. Timing will end, by the way, when this fifth health bar gets to zero. I'll try to <laughs> get it best, but it might be a little spontaneous. This boss fight requires a lot of instant concentration because he is, how do I say it, uh, RNG, so you got to be paying attention to when oh. to best react. Nice. So that's one, one cycle. One cycle. Uh, oh, oh my <gasps> goodness. Wow. Oh. Yes? Oh, you, I think you got it. Ooh, oh, there wow. it is. Dude. Okay. Oh Fourth and fifth phase. Come this on, dude. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Come on. That's fine. Can't do a one cycle here, but you can do something very fun. I think I got it. Yeah, you got it. Okay, just back up. Fast two cycle. Okay. Um, is that okay? <sighs> no, that's fine. Yikes. Give me another opening. Give me another opening. Come on. Demon bang him just for the funsies. I could, but I don't think that's enough damage to actually kill him. Yeah, so good, I'll good, do good. that. Okay. I got hammer actually. One so more. Fine. One nice. more. Would a demon bang with the ballista work? Yeah. It it might have actually. I just kind of had to make a decision call there. Yeah, that's fine. I was just curious. Okay, that is not one enough more. for one cycle. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to grab another hammer. Oh, wait, that's fine. He spawned in dogs. All right, timing ends as soon as this guy's health bar gets a zero, by the way. Dunk, dunk, dunk. Time ends. And time. And time. Wow. Dude. Oh, my God. Wow. Do we need, like, a retime on that? Or? That was fast. <laughs> that was that really was fast. fast. Uh, hey, Tech, a.k.a. Dylon, uh, just curious. What was the RTA on that? RTA was a... 30-40. A 30-40? Wow. Uh, unfortunate. That's pretty good, though. It's still pretty That's good. That's really good, though, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I yeah. thought that was sub-30 pace. for. We had a lot of good stuff there. Mm -hmm. uh, Ancient Gods 2, I'm so glad I could show this off. This is my favorite run to run in speedrunning. Has so much RNG, uh, and <laughs> but in like a good way. I think it's good RNG because you can play off basically every pattern you get. Uh, Adapting is Oh, fun. by the way, no. No. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I wanted it! <laughs> Evil. Yep, no. Nope, that was nope, a nope. knife in my heart. Uh, that, for people who don't know, that's no. a common joke I do on stream to uh, basically deny people the gratification of their favorite line in How the game. You? How <laughs> could you? We waited here just so we could hear that voice line. Okay, I will say that is only my second favorite. Huge oh. guts. Come on. <laughs> Huge guts, true. Huge, Huge guts. guts. Sentinel yeah. Prime. We love Sentinel Prime uh, here. That's been it for me at this marathon. All the runs have been a blast. Thank you, crowd. Thank you, my commentators. Thank Dylon and everyone else who's running tech. Uh, yeah, we got more runs coming up. Uh, stick tuned. Uh, would you guys like to say anything? Go back, you got anything to say? Um, yeah, just thank you for the, the excellent showcase of the Ancient Gods Part 1 and 2. Um, I absolutely hated playing that end boss in Tag 2 casually. I, I, I just wanted to go to sleep. It's like, <laughs> yeah. stop stealing life, a lot of dude. A lot so of people have that casually, yeah. You you just slaughtering him that quickly is like, wow. That's It's very gratifying so cool. for me. How do I yeah. put it? It feels like vindication. It does. Yeah. I'm pretty sure in that one hour PV that I have, this fight was like 15 minutes. I swear <laughs> to God. Yeah. I still remember your first Ultra Nightmare clear scream for that meta. It's yeah. act I remember you were screaming so much. I, I did in fact scream. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you you want to say anything? Oh, well, uh, twitch.tv slash Raichor underscore. Amazing channel. There's more speedruns like this. Absolutely wonderful. Check them out. If you don't check them out, I will be very angry. Twitch.tv slash Mutate6 underscore. <laughs> the dude gives the best shout outs. <laughs> uh, stay tuned, people. We have Doom 64 after and then Doom 2016. Thank you very much and we'll catch you in the next run. GG's. Bye-bye. <laughs>